Hey there everyone, today I'm going to talk about how we can authenticate a user with the help of AWS Amplify and Cognito. So let's start with the video. The prerequisites for this video will be that you should have Node.js and NPM installed. Also create an AWS account by visiting the site aws.amazon.com and then complete your sign up process by providing your credentials. And once you have completed your sign in process, you will get this button sign in to the console. For now, we just don't need to go into the console. So what we will do is open the terminal and check the node.js and npm version by running the command node-v and npm-v. Then Let's now install the Amplify CLI by running the command npm install g which will be for globally at aws amplify slash cli and then hit enter. And I think now it's going to take few minutes to set up the Amplify CLI on our local machine. And once it is done installing the AWS Amplify CLI, let's now create a new React app by running the command npx create dash React app followed by your React application name. In my case, it's going to be my auth app. Okay. So now it has done creating our React application. So let's go into that directory and then run the command code period, which will open up this application into the VS code. So now that we are into Visual Studio Code, let's start by setting up the Amplify CLI on our local machine. So for that, open the terminal and run the command Amplify Configure. We are just configuring it to connect it to our AWS account. After running this command, it is going to take you to the AWS console where we have to sign in. So you will see here that I am already signed in to my account. Okay. If you are signed in to your AWS account, then what you have to do is just click enter to continue and then let's select the region. So here I'm going with the region EU North 1. So now here you have to specify the user details such as username. Okay. So here I'm just going to give it as auth amplify. Okay, so after you have specified your user detail, let's click on next, then click on this attach policies. And when you scroll down here, you have to select this third option, which is administration access amplify, which is the permission policy. Okay. And I think we are done here. And then let's click on this next button. Then we have this review page. Check that everything is okay. And then let's click on create user. So now this message pops up with say user created successfully. Okay. And there we have this our application, which is auth amplify, which we created just now. So what we have to do is let's click on this application name and then into security credential. Let's scroll down. And here you have access key. So we have to create a new access key. So let's click on create access key and then select command line interface. After that, let's click on this to confirm that we understand the recommendation and then hit next. You can even set the description tag, which is optional. If you want to just give it some name, but here I'm just going with create new access key. And there I have my access key and secret access key. This we will need now. So what you have to do is copy this key and then back to our VS code. Let's press enter to continue here. You have to provide that access key, which you just copied. Okay. And once you are done copy pasting this access key, then what you have to do is and copy this secret access key and then paste it into our VS code. Just like this, provide your access key ID and the secret access key and then provide your profile name. In my case, it's odd dash amplify. It has successfully set up the new user. So what we basically did here is we updated or created the AWS profile on our local machine. After this, our next step is to initialize AWS amplify in the project directory by running the command amplify in it. This is going to ask a few configuration questions like the name of the project. So let's give it the name my auth app like this. So we are good till here and we do want to initialize this project with the above configuration. So I'm just clicking on yes and then hit enter. 
and then it asks you to select the authentication method that you want to use so we do want to go with aws profile so hit enter and then choose the profile that you want to use so i'm going with auth amplify profile so it's now adding backend environment dev to aws amplify so this might take few moments so i'll be right back after that is done you will have now this amplify folder in your project directory and then also in this source directory you will have this aws-export.js file with the amplify configuration.json file also so here it is just aws project region which is eu north one and then in aws export it has the project region only okay now we do want to add authentication to our react app right in the terminal run the command amplify add auth and let's hit enter select this default configuration and then we have to select the email because we want our user to authenticate with email right if you want to do it with username mobile number anything you can just click on that here i'm going it with email so here we are done for this I'm just going to hit no I am done okay and then it's going to set up successfully at our auth resource okay and that's all now the last step and the final step is to push all of this to amplify so run the command amplify push so it's going to push all of these resources into amplify and it has asked are you sure you want to continue yes we are sure so now that deployment is completed we also have this aws export file updated okay now what we need is two packages to be installed in order to work with amplify so in the terminal run the command npm install dash dash save aws dash amplify at aws dash amplify slash ui dash react okay and then hit enter this is going to install the two packages that we do need okay so now that it has done installing the packages let's close the terminal and also let's close this file and in the source directory let's open this app.js file and remove all of this because we do not need it so here we start by importing amplify from aws amplify then we also import two components with authenticator and authenticator from the aws amplify that will help with user authentication ui then we import a css file from the aws amplify ui react package the style.css file contains the predefined style for the aws amplify ui components also we export aws export from this file aws dash export which holds our data okay this aws export file contains configuration settings for the aws amplify library this includes information such as aws regions user pool details api endpoints and other authentication related configuration we just saw it right now right we then also configure the aws amplify library with the settings or you can say credentials or data which is in this aws export object coming from this file aws-export.js then we have the functional component which is named app inside the component we render the authenticator component provided by the aws amplify library the authenticator component is a higher order component that will help us manage the authentication flow inside the authenticator component we also have a function that takes two parameters sign out and user this function renders the main content of the application if a user is authenticated it shows a sign out button and displays my app content and then when the sign out button is clicked it triggers the sign out function provided by the aws amplify to sign the user out finally we are going to export the app component by wrapping it with the with authenticator component with authenticator adds authentication logic to the app component making sure that the user is authenticated before they can even access the content after all this is done now what we have to do is save the file and open the terminal and let's run the command npm start to start the server 
so it has started our application and which is running on localhost 3000 i think it's going to take few moments and there we have this beautiful sign in page let's start by creating an account because it is our first time so we just cannot sign in so we have to first create an account here enter the email i'm going with my email and then i'm going to provide my password and there i have provided my email and password so let's click on create account and no and then it has sent me a verification code which i'm just going to put it right now this is the confirmation code which it gave me on my email so let's confirm okay and i guess we are signed in okay now we can see our app content so if you want to sign out let's click on this sign out and it's just take you back okay and now we don't need to create account or we just don't need to go through this process what i can do is just sign in so that's the email and let me just put my password over here and there let's say sign in okay and yeah i am sign in that's perfect right so now when you head back to your aws console here in the search search for cognito and then this first option let's click on this and there you will have this user pool which you just created this is the user pool which i just created right now so what i'm going to do is click on this and then when we scroll down i will find this one email address through which i just signed in and email verification is also confirmed because i provided the code it sent me on that email address okay so that's how you can authenticate the user with the help of aws cognito and amplify you have successfully built a react app with authentication congratulations and that's it for this video i hope you learned something new today and if you did then don't forget to like this video also if you have any doubts you can comment below or you can even join my discord server the link for it will be given in the description and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and take care